Good morning, my name is Jim Sear. I'm from Restorative Carpentry. I started carpentry, well, my first proper job was back in 1968, many, 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 many moons ago. Sash windows have been around even longer than I have, and in order to work on them, you need a few basic tools. What I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to show you a few of the basic tools you'll need. Uh, there are lots, lots more that you can use, but this will get you started. The first thing you need is a hammer. This one's been around with me for well, the better part of three decades, and uh, it's definitely showing the signs of wear, but it is truly my favourite hammer for virtually any job I do. The next tool, this is a hacking knife. You can also use it for lead, but this we use for taking the staff beads off of the window. All that will become apparent later on. Uh, it's quite sharp uh, and it stands up to a lot of hammering, which is needed. The other tool is what I call a shark's tooth. They've been around for quite some time now. Yeah. Um, they have a flat blade uh, which is very good for prying and as you can see it's got a slight bend on it which gives it a lot of uh, a lot of spring the thing with these is they were originally designed as I understand for architrave but I use them again for taking off a staff bead or for pulling out parting beads all that will become apparent the next tool is a pair of old-fashioned carpenters pliers pincers sorry these again have been around since the year dot they're much much older than I am but what I bring you that in a later video the other thing that you'll need is a pair of wire cutters or cable cutters whatever you whatever you want to call them side cutters these are to enable you to, again to take nails out very very useful not for the original job that they were designed to do but the what I use them for and of course you'll need a Stanley knife of some sort and there it is running away the tool that I'll be explaining to you in uh, uh, in in closer detail is a screwdriver from Stanley which has got different heads on it and of course by far the most important tool of all is a cup of tea without a cup of tea nothing functions and that's a good cup of tea in addition to that you may also find it useful to have an electric screwdriver. You don't need one, but it is very, very useful. And that, with the tools that you've got in front of you there, you can dismantle almost all sash windows. 